In this Blender tutorial for beginners, I'll show you how I imported a character with multiple Mixmo animations from Blender 2.91 into the Godot game engine. The link to Mixmo is in the description. You will need a free Adobe ID to use the site. The link to the Rococo Blender add-on is in the description. You'll need a free Rococo ID to use the add-on. For this tutorial, I will be using the Ninja character. I downloaded the Action Idle to Fight Idle animation and the Fist Fight A animation using the FBX 30 frames per second with no skin option. I deleted everything in the scene since I won't be using these objects. Under the output properties, I changed my frame rate to 30 frames per second. I import the ninja character. And I make sure that I have animation checked. And under armature, I have automatic bone orientation checked. I renamed the object and the associated animation in the outliner. I then import the idle animation. and rename the object and the associated animation in the outliner. I access the Rococo add-on in the Properties panel. Under the Retargeting section, I choose the idle animation as the source and the ninja as the target. I then choose build bone list. And then retarget animation. I open the NLA editor and push down the idle retarget animation and mute the idle animation. I can then delete the idle animation from the outliner. I'll now import the fight animation and rename the object and the associated animation in the outliner. Under the retargeting section of the Rococo add-on, I choose the fight animation as the source and the ninja as the target. I then choose build bone list and then retarget animation. In the NLA editor, I push down the fight retarget animation and mute the fight animation. I then delete the fight animation from the outliner. Now it's time to export the animation. I make sure that I have everything selected, including both animations in the NLA editor. I choose GLTF for the export and I make sure that I have limit to selected objects checked. I open the project I have already made for Godot and I double click on the export and make a new inherited scene. I select the animation player and make sure that both of the animations imported correctly.
I'll now write the script that allows me to use the keyboard input to call the animation. I'll first save this scene out as a .tsn file. I select the root node and I create a new script. And I save the script and I save the scene. Create a new scene, choose 3D scene. And I save the scene as a .tsn file. I then add a link to the idle fight scene. And I add a 3D camera node. And I place the camera so I can actually see the character. I select the root node. Save the scene. And using F6 I can play the scene. When I press the home button, I can play the idle animation. When I press the end button, I can play the fight animation. If you found this useful, please subscribe and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.